learning basic AutoCAD for 21st century learners tutorials. The following videos are open to anyone at any level. Maybe CAD enthusiasts, would be CAD operators, or even novice users. You may use this as your guide in discovering or exploring AutoCAD as software as tool in developing your CAD projects. Introduction to CAD and AutoCAD software, some of the basic draw commands, as well as modified commands are comprehensively discussed in the presentation. You can play and pause the videos to furtherly understand the lesson. And don't forget to perform the tasks relevant to the lessons which will be shown after every video tutorial. This would be supplementary activities in enhancing and mastering your skills. Allow me to introduce you in CAD operation, most especially in using AutoCAD as software in starting and creating your design, is the content of the lesson one of the video tutorials. It mainly talks about what is CAD and its role in design industry, overview about AutoCAD as software that includes brief history, the pros and cons in using this software, its AutoCAD graphics window or the interface, its special keys, the status bar toggles, and its function keys, the AutoCAD coding systems applying line command as well. In this video, we will see how the status bar toggles be used particularly in doing CAD works. The referring status toggles are located at the status bar, at the lower portion of AutoCAD graphics window or interface. The status bar provides quick access to tools that affect the drawing environment. Maaari ring gamitin ang function keys na nasa ating keyboard by pressing it to activate the particular toggle. It is very important that you need to familiarize the following function keys kung ano ang mga gamit nito, which is equivalent dun sa tinutukoy ng mga toggles para mas mapadali ang pagsagawa ng ating mga gawain. Gamitin ang mga toggles na naayon at mas makakatulong sa pag-perform ng commands, especially in starting drawing. We have several function keys that can be used to support user in performing CAD operation. Ranging from F1 to F12 ang maaring gamitin. In the status bar, maraming toggles and some of it correspond to the function keys. As shown, ipinapakita dito ang mga function keys and equivalent such toggle descriptions and its buttons or icons. We have F1 for help, F2 for command line history, F3 to the object snap, F4. 3D object snap, F5, isometric drafting or isoplane, F6, dynamic QCS, F7, grid or graph, F8, our ortho mode, F9, snap mode, F10, polar tracking, F11, object snap tracking or the auto snap, F12, the dynamic input. These following two girls can be shown through activating it at customization menu. Click this menu and you can set the following toggles you want to display on the screen. The following with check pertains to active and displayed in the status bar and the unchecked were unable. Let's start discussing the toggles and function keys related to it. Activating the grid or graph can be considered kung sa tingin nyo that you are comfortable working with grid. Pindutin lamang ang F7 key to trigger or deactivate the toggle. Let's look the grid closer by zooming. Right click this icon or pick this flyout through left clicking to set or modify the grid. As you can see, we have lines that are visible. Itong mga highlighted lines o sabihin nating visible lines ay tinatawag nating major lines. And there are other lines that are lighter in color, the regular grid. Maaari nating baguhin ang distansya ng grid through changing the values of x and y grid. Say, point A for x and point A for y at the same time, palitan natin a major line every 7. Then click OK. As you observe, now, mas lumaki at lumawak ang distansya ng mga linya to each other at nadagdagan ang bilang ng square bago ang major line. At ngayon, creating straight, vertical, or horizontal lines 
ay mahirap gawin and lead to estimating to whether it is horizontal or vertical, lalong-lalo na kung deactivated ang ortho mode. Let's create line and this time activate the ortho mode. You can pick this icon or pressing F8 key to on it. You can now create straight, horizontal, and vertical lines with ease. Do the same step to activate it, clicking either the icon or by pressing F8 key. Napaka-importante ang paggamit ng ortho toggle in AutoCAD operation. Kanina, pinag-usapan natin ang grid. May kinalaman iyon sa tinatawag nating snap mode. Kapag sinabi nating snap, kaakibat nito ang pagiging mabilis in tracking point or the next point. You can select your snap type by clicking this flyout and clicking either the options, the grid snap or polar snap. Depende sa kung ano ang gagamitin mo or clicking the snap settings. If you pick grid snap, you can change the snap spacing, the snap X and Y, gaya ng ginawa natin sa grid. When grid snaps are turned on, the cursor snaps to specified grid intervals as you move the cursor when you start creating your drawing. When polar snaps are turned on, the cursor snaps to specified distance along specified polar alignment paths. In the snap settings again, maaari rin nating iset ang polar distance, say 10, and activate polar tracking. Pili tayo ng polar alignment paths. Say 5. The cursor will snap to this polar alignment path every 5 degrees angle and 10 as the distance ng magiging linya. After modifying the setting, don't forget to activate it through left clicking the status toggle or by pressing the F9 key. The polar tracking tracks the cursor along specified polar angles. Turning it on and off using this toggle or by pressing F10 key can enable and disable the tracking line at particular sets of angle. The tracking line is broken line that is in green color. Maaaring palitan ang set of angles by clicking this flyout and picking the set you want. Say 30 degrees, 60 degrees, 90 degrees, and so on and so forth. Every 30 degrees, the tracking line appears. Kung gusto naman nating dagdagan ang set of angles ay posibleng mangyari. Go to track setting, click new, then type the starting angle, for example, 35 degrees, then click OK. Click this flyout and pick this set of angles starting 35 degrees. Now, let's create a line. Move the cursor, then that's it. Tracking line appears after 35 degrees angle, 70 degrees angle, so on and so forth, and can now create line according to the specified polar angles. Don't forget to use F10 key to activate polar tracking faster. The object snap tracking or the auto snap tracking tracks the cursor along vertical and horizontal alignment paths from object snap point. Suguraduhin na activated ang inyong object snap. Let's create a line that is perpendicular to this horizontal line and as high as this existing vertical line. You can activate the auto snap using the status bar, picking this button or hitting F11 key. Pick this line command, then go to the end point of the line. Move your cursor going up, galawin ito papunta sa other point ng isa pang linya, and you will notice there is intersection of two tracking lines, and you can pick it to create line as high as the vertical line, as well as perpendicular to the horizontal line. You can try it again. So that's how F11 key or the object snap tracking or the auto snap be used in doing projects in AutoCAD application. We have the dynamic input. Working using AutoCAD may find difficulties in doing these steps and can use confusion to what may be the next step to do. The command window greatly helps in the problem. Ipinapakita e dito ang proseso kung ano ang dapat gawin after entering or doing the previous steps. We also have mini command window that can display a tooltip near the cursor kahit saan man itong parte ng ating drawing space pumunta. Which you can use to specify options for commands and values for distances and angles. 
If you think you're comfortable doing your project with a mini command window in your drawing space, then toggle this button or just press the F12 key para sa pag-activate ng dynamic input or dynamic mode. After activating the dynamic input, there's a bar moving as we move the cursor. This can be the area where you can see the next step and type the values or distances. Kung hindi nyo naman gusto na merong tooltip in your drawing space, then turn it off. Click this button or press again F12 key.